Do you know that feeling when you're supposed to just do something? That's now. Escaping the grind is important. And just doing something that, you know, makes you happy in everything that's stressful. For me, that is going to the ocean. But even though I'm standing here on the ocean side, I can't just stop thinking about that PYC file that I needed to decompile. A PYC file is a it's a compiled Python file that's being used in, inside. Um, it then is then being um, interpreted by a Python interpreter, and those are compiled, so you can't play around with them. And one way to decode those is to use a Python bytecode decompiler. So even though Rock is decompiled three, which is a reworking on un uncompiled six, it's a great tool. It doesn't work with Python three point nine. Or at least I didn't figure out how to get it to work. And since I've been doing a lot of reversing lately of apps that, you know, you make your local installation and I like to do code review, I've been needing a way to get access to that code. So that meant I needed to find a Python decompiler that worked with Python 3.9. And this is where Xerax PYCDC or Decompile++ comes in play. It's a Python bytecode December decompiler, and you just run it in a way where you install it on Ubuntu. It's very easy using Snap or something. And all you need to do is to write a quick loop that will go through all the PYC files and make them a Python file. Not all data is gonna be in there, but it's really good start for you if you wanna start looking for nice routes, <laughs> places where to inject stuff. So if you haven't found a way to decompile your PYC files because they are in a new version of Python, hey, just give PYCDC a go.